a real lady. The other two guards turned and stared at him. This was Nobby talking. You two can bloody well stop that, he said. Why shouldn't I know a lady when I sees one? She'd give me a cup of tea and a cup thin as paper and a silver spoon in it, he said, speaking as one who had peeped over the plateau of social distinction. And I'll give it back to her so you can stop looking at me like that. What is it you actually do when you're eating off, said Cola. No business of yours. Warning. Did you really give the spoon back, said Carrot. Yes, I bloody well did, said Nobby hotly. Attention, lad, said the sergeant, flooded with relief. The other two entered the room. Vines gave his men his usual look of resigned dismay. By squad, he mumbled. Fine body of men, said Lady Rankin. The good old rank and file, eh? The rank, anyway, said Vimes. Lady Rankin beamed with his eyes. This led to a strange shout among the men. Sergeant Cohen, by means of some effort, managed to make his chest stick out more than his stomach. Carrot straightened up from his habitual stoop. Nobby vibrated with soldierly bearing, hands thrust straight down by his sides, thumb pointing sharp. The sinking chest inflated so much that his feet were in danger of leaving the ground. I always think we can all sleep safer in my bed, knowing that these brave men are watching over us. Lady Rankin, walking sedately along the ranks like a treasure galleon running ahead of a mile. And who is this? It's difficult for an orangutan to stand for attention. Its body can master the general idea of its speed. The librarian was doing his best, however, standing in a sort of respectful heap at the end of the line and maintaining the kind of complex salute you can only achieve with a four-foot arm. A fine, fine man, said Nobby smartly. Special aid services. Very enterprising. Very enterprising indeed. How long have you been in eight by now? Ooh. Well done. She turned by. She was definitely the biggest thing. A credit to her, she said. A fine body of men. Ooh. And for a boy, corrected Lady Rankin, who barely a break in the flow. For a moment, the rank felt as though they had just returned from single-handedly conquering a distant province. They felt, in fact, tremendously bucked up, which was how Lady Rankin would almost certainly have put it, and which was definitely several letters of the alphabet away from how they normally felt. Even the librarian felt favoured, and for once had let the phrase, my man, pass without comment. A trickling noise and a strong chemical smell prompted them to look around. Good boy Bindle Featherston was squatting with an air of sheepishness.